When I was seven. Good day, everybody. Welcome to the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I'm your host, the Voice of Reason. We're going to watch a uh, CIA recruiting video, the Central Intelligence Agency of the United States, an official recruiting video, and uh, we're just going to uh, we're just going to watch and, and and see where they're they're going with their agenda. So let's watch and let's just watch. I quoted Zora Neale Hurston's How It Feels to Be Colored Me in my college application essay. The line that spoke to me stated simply, I am not tragically colored. There is no sorrow dammed up in my soul nor lurking behind my eyes. I do not mind at all. At 17, I had no idea what life would bring, but Zora's sentiment articulated so beautifully how I felt as a daughter of immigrants then and now. Nothing about me was or is tragic. I am perfectly made. I can wax eloquent on complex legal issues in English while also belting Guayaquil de mis amores in Spanish. I can change a diaper with one hand and console a crying toddler with the other. I'm a woman of color. I am a mom. I am a cisgender millennial who's been down. A what? A cisgendered... Hold on a second. Let's do that again real quick. Yeah, I am a cis gender millennial I don't even know what that is anyway let's continue this gender millennial who's been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder <laughs> I am intersectional but my existence is not a box checking exercise I am a walking declaration a woman whose inflection does not rise at the end of her sentences suggesting that a question has been asked I did not sneak into CIA I'm sorry, hold on a second. And she said she has a generalized anxiety disorder. So they want to recruit CIA agents that have generalized anxiety disorders. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. My employment was not and is not the result of a fluke or slip through the cracks. I earned my way in, and I earned my way up the ranks of this organization. I am educated, qualified, and competent, and sometimes I struggle. I struggle feeling like I could do more, be more to my two sons, and I struggle leaving the office when I feel there's so much more to do. I used to struggle with imposter syndrome, but at 36, I refuse to internalize misguided patriot. Okay, look at the t-shirt right here. I think that you see the is it, that's woman power but she said she was something something else maybe cisgender yeah, I don't know I don't even know what that is but anyway patriarchal ideas of what a woman can or should be I am tired of feeling like I'm supposed to apologize for the space I occupy rather than intoxicate people with my effort my brilliance I am proud of me full stop my parents left everything they knew and loved to expose me to opportunities they never had. Because of them, I stand here today a proud first-generation Latina and officer at CIA. I am unapologetically me. I want you to be unapologetically you, whoever you are. Know your worth. Command your space. Mija, you're worth it. Okay, uh... Before I continue here, I, I, I wanted to back up a little bit and talk about the uh, previous uh, video I did on uh, the the whole Emma uh, Project Emma Russia is a, is fears Project Emma. So I, I want to make sure that uh, look, I am not uh, trouncing on or going after that corporal. I believe. Uh, she is being used for a a purpose, and uh, unfortunately, she she may or may not understand what that purpose is. I feel I fear and feel that this person knows exactly what they're doing, absolutely, and uh, it looks like she's a, uh, a possibly a, a higher level uh, at CIA, but again you can you can kind of see 
what they're trying to do, why they're trying to do what they're doing, and uh, it's uh, it's really reprehensible and it's uh, it's tragic because the damage that uh, is going to be done in terms of politicizing both the United States military, the, the intelligence organizations and apparatuses of the United States to uh, to have this uh, element of the uh, the uh, political what would be the political opposition the 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 left uh, wants to have eyes and ears in these these agencies and this is how they're doing it uh, are they going to have a complete and utter takeover of these uh, agencies I, I don't know it's hard to say probably not because just just because of, of the role a lot of these individuals especially on the military side of things, the Army, they're going into support roles. They're not going into combat arms uh, professions. Uh, they're, they're looking for uh, not necessarily a free ride, but they're just looking for something better than what they're, they've, uh, they've experienced uh, prior. And um, unfortunately, it also, there's also a, a deep uh, political motive uh, as well, in terms of, of what 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 is happening, you're seeing a lot of the uh, the career uh, high ranking uh, higher ranking military officers, especially uh, in the army and other services service branches. Uh, I I talked about the chameleon effect, and uh, with the transition of power, obviously from the Trump administration to the Biden administration, these. Uh, these military leaders are uh, having to act much like chameleons. They're ha having to change their views on politics because the left is now trying to uh, politicize the uh, the uh, military because they know they're they're fully aware that generally speaking, uh, the military branches have and uh, and are for the most part, especially when you gravitate into the combat arms uh, sector of the armed forces. They are uh, uh, traditionally conservative, uh, right-leaning, and and uh, in most uh, military organizations around the uh, globe, uh, that is uh, that is the case, and uh, they want their their fingers. They meaning the obviously the current administration, the uh, the the left-leaning side of the American body politic, wants uh, its footprint inside of the uh, U.S. military, and uh, this is how they're doing it. And uh, is it going to bring about uh, generalized change in terms of the way the military looks? Possibly. Uh, again, there is a concerted effort right now to, uh, to uh, PC the military. And, uh, I mean, I can only imagine what it's like uh, for uh, some of these soldiers and uh, I mean, even in the CIA, there's there's got to be huge elements of uh, the uh, force that is just really kind of scratching their head. And this, I mean, this video is just bizarre, and <laughs> it just kind of shows you uh, how uh, off the rocker they really are in terms of what they're trying to do. And I think the previous video, again, nothing, I, I you know. The, the Corporal Emma, whatever her last name was, uh, I, I don't know, but, you, you, know, you know, good for her for joining the military, and, and, um, and, and obviously it's, it's probably going to help her more than, than, than hurt her. And, um, you know, again, I, I don't think she was doing anything intentional by being part of that ad. I think she was being used by, uh, by greater powers. To uh, to get a message out there and and again get their get their get their, get their hands into uh, the military forces of uh, of the United States and uh, very very disturbing anyway thanks for joining us and uh, obviously we'll have uh, more to come and again this is not a parody this is an official CIA recruiting video and it's been out for a while too so many of you have probably already seen it.